2.5 millimeter wall thickness so it's got a bit of meat in this this is just a quick tip about polycarbonate tubes in your brewery now polycarbonate tubes can be used for sight glasses um, spools between vessels and things like that now I use mine uh, with triclovers on the end like this so there you go and it makes a nice clear pipe that I can run the uh, beer through and I can see what's going on. Before I did that, I researched to make sure that polycarbonate was going to be A, food safe. So the polycarbonate I use is FDA approved. It does not leach any chemicals into the beer. The second thing I wanted to know is whether it could withstand the heat. And that's why I chose polycarbonate, is because it's strong. Strong as hell and it can withstand the heat. Um, the next thing I wanted was, can it be cleaned? Can it be sterilised? You know? Can we run star sands through it and PBW and stuff like that? So I checked five star and five star say, yep, it's perfectly fine on polycarbonate. Um, I read some forums and some forums said that they had some crazing, some little tiny hairline fractures that were ha that were happening in their polycarbonate um, and they suspected it was from PBW. So before I jumped into the whole polycarbonate tubing scenario, I tested that. Um, I got the right dilution of PBW and I did a hot and a cold soak and after an hour, the little bit of polycarbonate chewed sample didn't have any crazing in it. After two hours, it didn't. After a day, it didn't. After a week, it didn't. Sweet! Seems perfectly fine to me. Um, so still bearing that in mind, and that is a word of caution, um, I only soak my polycarbonate for an hour, because it doesn't really need to be soaked longer than that to clean it all up. Um, but I've had some breakages. So, the breakages that I've had I've tried to work out where they come from. Now, they've all sort of broken where my tap thread is. Now, before you say, oh, it's the thickness of your pipe, I've got pipe that's got a 2.5 millimeter wall thickness. So, it's got a bit of meat in this. That thickness is actually even too big. So, I put it on the lathe and I turned it down and it's still got a thickness of about 1.4 mil. Still got a wall thickness of about 1.4 mil, which is ample enough um, meat for a half inch MPT thread to be tapped onto it, which I do do so and then I can screw on my fillings and they make a nice tight watertight fit Bit of thread tape on it and they're perfect. I did a big tear down a couple of weeks ago and I cleaned everything up all my fillings, soaked them in PBW, I soaked the polycarbonate pipe for under an hour, rinsed it and let them drain off so they're perfectly fine. But when I went to put everything back together again they broke and it snapped off where the thread was then another one broke and it broke at both ends so I had three breakages just before a brew day all in the same spot now that can't be a coincidence now if we look at this there's some little cracks in it and cracks that go all the way through which are fractures. Now I'm trying to work out how those fractures got in there and I've worked it out. When I turn the polycarbonate down it becomes opaque so it becomes a porous surface instead of the highly polished surface that it is here. Furthermore when I start to tap it the half inch MPT tap roughens it up even more and it makes it even more porous. Now it's that porous surface that has been absorbing the PBW and weakening the plastic from the inside out. Effectively, every single little tiny hole in there has become its own little fracture point and it's just weakened. And that's why they've all snapped off there, there, and there, at the ends. So my tip to you for polycarbonate pipe usage is it's perfectly fine to use, just don't machine it. Use it in compression type fittings uh, where it's always going to be highly polished. And if you're really, really worried about the PBW affecting it, don't rinse it in PBW. Make sure that you can pull it apart and put the stainless steel bits in PBW and leave the polycarbonate bits and give them a wash in some soapy water. Star sands are still good, you can still run star sands through it to sanitize. But yeah, thought that might be helpful for some people. I myself will still be using polycarbonate pipe, I'm just going to use it in compression joints from now on. So cheers.